really not considered a group. It was just uh, friends meeting, um, jamming like once a month. It was really purely for pleasure. No, no expectations whatsoever, um, which was which was really nice. Um, then there, there came one gig, the second gig, um, we met Jan, the guitarist, and Frank, um, Frankie, our drummer, and we started writing our own songs, performed basically in all, only in Germany for now, um, started recording our songs, so this is really um, a passion, friends project which which is just um yeah lovely to do and yeah that's it uh why this name uh, click do you like to click connect <laughs> it's actually embarrassing because do you know a metronome yes yeah so it's click 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 <laughs> so, so so that so that the band plays together that that's okay. really just and it was a job it was like oh come on play on the click man and Th that's that's how we and we said like well what about we take that as a name and we did um what generally approach this project again what generally genre uh, okay. uh, uh, um, project not genre specific we really play and write what comes um what comes to our minds so it usually we write our songs by one starts playing the guitar, jamming, and the other one comes in with a beat, or I have an idea for a melody, and the others join. So th this is how we this is how we do it. Um, um, and if it's a German, if it's German lyrics, it's German lyrics. If it's um, a bit more rock, then it's rock, really. So, uh, any videos or singles for this project? Are coming uh, are coming and we have already released a couple of cds like three eps and there are um a couple of singles out and yeah i'm sure we will we'll do a bit more something's coming up uh do you have uh, any plan for tours or something for promotion for this project there is no chance of planning anything with covid and corona and um, going around it's really tough um planning gigs or organizing anything so this basically killed a lot of musicians for the last four five six months it's really tough so we'll see how it all develops and um, until then it's writing meeting at the um, rehearsal room and well hoping for for better times to come um how was uh, this period for you of Corona? Mm, I don't know. It's, 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 I think it's, uh, as it was for everyone, very surprising. No one knew what was going on. So it was a bit irritating, made you feel, make me felt, feel a little insecure. What's, how will things, develop mm -hmm. then you at some point um get accustomed to the situation and you start working again so this is what i did i drove alone to the rehearsal room with, uh, by not seeing or or hearing anyone writing and this helped because if you just sit around and think about it too much it's um poisonous Yes, it's poison because also from outside, but also from the people and the news. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you need a break of that. You need a break of that. Yes, you need it. Just a um, uh, break, but also music in this period uh, can heal souls and minds. Um, taking uh, to the next question, uh, what is music for you? Music? Life. Life. It's my life. Um, I couldn't live without music mm, yeah that's an essence um especially in this period but also in general does respect exist nowadays it it does 
Yeah, of course it does. It also doesn't, but it does. And usually people who are respectful with each other and to each other are of um, calm nature. You don't see them, you don't hear them. They do it because they are kind, um, respectful people. And it's, it's the loud, annoying, frustrated ones that you first see and hear. But yeah, there are a lot of nice people out there and concentrate on them. Um, do you believe in friendship? Absolutely, yeah. Um, like I uh, said the previous question, friendship nowadays uh, is based uh, from benefit from others? You always benefit. You can you can see it positive or negative. Mm -hmm. If it's misused, then it's not friendship. Then it's something else. And um, friendship, you benefit of the energy of others, um, of your friends, of their thoughts, of their actions, and you give that as well. And friendship is never uh, forced on, on, on another person, mm -hmm. you feel friendship. If you feel good and pleasant and calm about the other one, that's that's friendship. Uh, Quite uh, laughing. <laughs> because it's true. And My I know why. <laughs> I know why. And that, that's why I'm laughing. And you know the reason. And um, can you define me what is an artist? Because the people are no, uh, don't know what is a general an artist. An artist? Yes. Okay, now because we were talking about friendship and stuff like that. Like <laughs> the, the mother of artists yes. is nature. So, okay. it's, so it's to me, if you create something that doesn't necessarily benefit yourself. Okay. So, yeah, it's really creation. Creation. You mean that it's a creation. For me, from my point of view, an artist can sing, can compose, can um, write a song, can be a producer. That's an artist. And you yes. are an artist. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not maybe. You are. Um, why people love the fakes and not the people who are who are having talent and the the TV nowadays are promoted this kind of people because the image is more important than the uh, talent. It's like uh, you are going to the supermarket, you are choosing uh, the um, product who is glitter, but uh, people, like yes, and people uh, don't know that that. Uh, who is promoting this uh, glitter is the bad product. It's the, the uh, uh, more money in the uh, bad product, let's say so, quality. So, so the question was with fakes, why, why, why do people fall for fake? Yeah. Yes. Um, actually, even if I come into a step into a room and there is a neon sign, I will first look at that and um, it's really up to us to maybe take a, take a look around the room and if you see this maybe small, not so shiny um, uh, uh, thingy somewhere in the corner, take a look at that because maybe that's where um, kindness, talent and all of that exists as well uh, and you have so many examples for that i mean uh, i wouldn't consider the beatles yes. shiny or or who else there are so many uh, folks out there that do not need um that um, it's like in the case of Pink, uh, when uh, she released, I think, the last album, the mm -hmm. manager didn't want uh, to promote her because it was too old uh, and it's expired. And uh, she proved that uh, they are uh, wrong. And uh, the I think the album is the best-selling uh, album. Really? In the oh, good. 
see yeah, yeah and, and people are not blind or dumb i mean in no. the end yeah uh, samira you know uh, the fakes the one who are doing playback they don't have uh, any uh, blame because the people are stupid to pay uh, to pay to see this uh, circus because but, but often enough the people at home don't know you know you know because if you are uh, a musicer you uh, listen music uh, i think you know but you, you prefer to look at the fakes not the original because i uh, we know uh, we love 90s music you know uh, and we want to re uh, recreate that moment that uh, bring us uh, happiness and uh, if i go to a concert and i see a lady who are uh, doing playback um, i stay home and i watch uh, youtube is a better place to recreate it's, it's it's the consumer's choice it's the consumer is the blame because if you 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 promote this kind of stuff um the producer uh will uh, push the same thing because yeah. the the people have the choice to choose what they like and what don't like um it, it's uh, exactly like in radio uh from top uh, radio they are pro uh, promoting music from top 40 because they want to but the public do doesn't have uh, something to say because you are forced mm -hmm. to listen mm -hmm. um, okay <laughs> let's uh, talk about your because uh, this interview is about you not me and uh, tell me mm -hmm. about Lenin. what tell me about Lenin Lenin oh uh, that was um, a project let me think it was Yuri Yuri Chernavsky his name he was a producer of of that project Lenin uh, a Russian um, singer singer <laughs> rapper um, I have never met him so it was okay. Yuri who um, knew the people I was working with back then in 1993 something like that I read um 93 94 so, um and he came with some 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 songs i sang them as a session studio singer and never heard of the guys again <laughs> neither lennon nor yuri but uh i what i what i saw they had um released the stuff especially in in eastern europe and 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 russia and that area um and performed there are some some nice dancey songs that's the story you uh, you didn't uh, appear in this uh, videos of uh, this project you are behind i didn't appear in the video no um tell me about uh euro dance euro dance is dead nowadays no no, because <laughs> yeah. no, we're sitting here, we're talking about it. You yeah. turn on the TV, you hear um, Captain Hollywood um, on a commercial. You go to a bar, um, you hear Eurodance. You go f for a walk and you hear people in their cars listening to the song. So whoever says it for, for 30 years now, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Okay. Any future projects? Any future projects? As I'm always doing music, yes, there will be more music, but um, I may be a little superstitious, call it that. I yeah. won't say anything until it's really done and uh, released. But okay. yeah, there will be stuff coming out. Uh, dance or uh, click uh, songs? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, start with the question from your uh, fans, and we start uh, with uh, Martin. Uh, why did you leave to the project Max? I never was a part of Max, 
so I never left because I never was a band member. Uh, I sang the song at the studio. It was recorded, released, and that was it. So yep. no engagement for for gigs, for videos, or anything like that. Uh, you are a part of the name or uh, just uh, the vocals? You provide the vocals for, for this project. Um, I sang the the chorus, the bridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's it. You are not involved in the the name of the project. I mean, no, no. no. Um, I think. Uh, few years ago you gave an interview to a German or German radio or from uh, Croatia, I don't know. It's true that you also sing the Max uh, No More? No, I. this is like my first talk ever about this music, so there was no interview and no, I, I didn't sing No More. No More. That's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, no More is not uh, sing by you. No, that was that was Linda Meek. Okay, did you ever did you ever uh, met uh, Linda and uh, Gary? Uh, Linda, no. Okay. But but I uh, Gary, whose name was Boris, by the way, Boris Köhler. Um, yes. I was when I started doing music. I was in a school band. It was a hip hop band. The Earls okay. of Rhyme, <laughs> and Boris was a youngster, a rapper as well. So mm -hmm. this is how we met. We performed at youth clubs, at a um, even at a, at a jail, like a, for for juvenile delinquents. Performed there for them. So and this is how we met. And then he um, he knew Douglas Wilbrove. Mm -hmm. Bongo from Blues and Blues and Bongo, and this is how this connection into the direction of Eurodance and dance has started. Uh, why did he uh, didn't uh, appear in uh, the video Getaway? Uh, same explanation as the previous question about Max. I wasn't part of the band. Um, I was not part of the project, so there wasn't even. A question of me doing it. But uh, um, let's say that Max, even now, is known after Getaway, and you are part of the success of this project, right? Yes, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, would you ever consider to be also a question for Martin uh, in the 90s con uh, concerts? As mm -hmm. I, I love performing, so yes. But I guess I wasn't on their radar. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Uh, Vavo is asking why the solo project Samira was virtual. The album did not come out. There were no clips. There were no performance. Why? It was, it was basically my decision. OK. Because um, okay, now it's the, now the topic might get a little uh, not not so not so f funny. Um, but wait, my light turned off. Um, <laughs> um, no, it was my decision. At some point, after a couple of years, we I worked together with the people I was working with. Um, mm -hmm. I decided to keep my love for music. And uh, I really just said, okay, enough for now. Let me let me like hmm, go <laughs> um and uh, do just music for for the purpose of of uh, creating nice things and loving what I'm doing. So okay. no no big story, no um, drama around it. Okay, but, uh, but we did perform. Um, but we did perform for for quite a while with um, the Samira stuff, um, especially in Germany. Um, did uh, did you think that cooperation with Shift Music uh, bore you as an artist? Mm, no, no. Same same answer as I just answered. No, they were actually um, the head of Shift Music is Ronald Bear, a very very kind person. Um, 
they supported me very nicely. Um, they were um, specialized in, in hip hop and freestyle back then. So this is um, how my music turned into that direction a bit. Um, mm -hmm. But no, you cannot force success. And if there, there was a certain development back then. Um, it's one question from my part. Uh, we, uh, who is doing uh, reps for uh, when I look into your eyes? And then... Oh, it, it was, um, it was uh, Douglas, Douglas Wilrow bongo from bruce and bongo that i had mm -hmm. started working with so the rap parts on uh, slam um bongo beat when i look into your eyes um, that's his voice you're hearing that's douglas wilbur's voice but uh, for the samira project in the 90s did you do more uh, tracks for an album or it was just a few tracks um actually there there was material enough for an album or two but mm -hmm. uh, was it in yeah but there just it just didn't happen that we released an album because uh, with uh, when i look into your eyes when i've been listening in 95 i think it was so strong and powerful and so dancing and uh, a lot of energy and uh, I was expecting for more tracks from your part. And uh, unfortunately, in my country, uh, didn't arrive uh, till the rain, I think. Yes, the rain. Yeah. Um, uh, aside uh, from your previous projects, Bongo Beat and Slam, which are the more that you provide vocals or uh, you collaborate? Um, on what project I, I worked? Yeah, yes. besides, besides uh, that, uh, the project that we know. Okay, I think you know of, of most of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was it? It was Slam, it was Lenin, it was uh, Max, it was Bongo Beat. Who else? I worked with um, a couple of other singers. One. Um, DJ like trans was Marcus, uh, yeah, Marcus's name. Um, we did a, a, like a trans house thing together. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then slowly click came, and um, that was a development. Uh, did you appear on uh, stage of Nightis Concert at the end festivals? Nope. Uh, would you like to? Sure. <laughs> okay. That's a question from Karin. Um, how uh, you chosen to be the vocalist of uh, the vocalist of the Max first single? Hmm, that, that was funny. Okay, first you have you have to imagine I I was like sixteen or seventeen. I was really young. I was very very sick on that day, like mm -hmm. really sick. And Douglas gave me a call and he was like, oh, there's this great song and they need a singer. I'm like, yeah, cool, let's do it. And uh, they were, I don't know if it was on the same day or the next day, I got picked up by um, Jürgen Wind, it was, and some other guy, I don't remember. So they um, drove me to the studio. The studio was packed with people. I felt like I was half in a coma. Um, I, yeah. Um, I just remember having sung the, the chorus and then Douglas was like, okay, she's like, she's like very good at this ad lib. So just, just let the, let the playback play and let her do something. So then, um, some ad libs came up and, and the bridge came up through that as well. And I don't even remember how I got home, but this is how, um, how I recorded the song and how, how the um, working together happened. Um, a question uh, about uh, the single It's uh, the Rain. Um, huh? Have the story? No, use an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, well, it's so hot in here. Is it warm, I know. Is it warm in, in, in Bavaria as well? 
it's uh, very hot, but oh, uh, don't worry. Me. Don't worry because tomorrow we're starting the MO uh, weather and you have yeah. uh, time. <laughs> Thank you, because this is not my weather. I'm dying. Maybe because you are here and uh, the clouds are uh, inspired to sing your uh, song, you know. Um, <laughs> tell me about uh, it was him melody. It was uh, really inspired by uh, Lenor uh, commercial. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Um, I think the idea was um, really first came the advertisement yes um, and then the guys from shift music Volker back then who worked at the um, uh, at shift music's uh, rec recording studio um, I think it was their idea to like do do some kind of modern version cover song and mm -hmm. then maybe it could be like the follow-up on TV you know like for for um, PR, um, it, it didn't work out like that, mm -hmm. and uh, we released it without um, having fluffy and clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was uh, him was very popular in Romania, but also in uh, Eastern Europeans. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. Very often, and uh, really, I think it was a hit in our country. Um, where there are any video clip shoot for your singles or there are any videos for your singles? No. I like oh. to I like to hide. No. <laughs> ah, okay. I know the reason. That's why Karin is asking why she doesn't know and uh, wants uh, to uh, hear from you. Um, do you think the music music business in the 90s was better than now? <clears throat> Mm, mm, mm. Business, business is business. Music is one thing. Business is the other thing. So, uh, so I don't know if the music business was better than you if you if you were smart enough and had um, and were educated on in that area enough. Mm -hmm. For an artist, it might have been better. Um, but no, there's no there's no answer actually if it was better or not. Uh, do you still have a connection with some other Eurodance artists? No. No. Um, do you... It's annoying to be called the Eurodance artist? No, I have sung the song, so it's fine. Um, your future projects, we know. Uh, any plans with the click and uh, any future uh, or...? Uh, with click or in general? Yes, in general and in general. What do I plan for the future? Um, saving the nature. Um, uh... <laughs> oh, yes, you are, you are an activist. I know that you are. Yeah, a... but um, oh, oh, and something finding a cure that the mosquitoes itch never. It, uh, like when they when they sing you that it never itches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no um the future will bring what it might bring it's really just be act being active doing what i love to do and you cannot in the end you cannot really plan things because it usually comes different than, than you have anticipated so just being a good and decent person being music wise busy and that will keep me happy, I hope. Samira, it was a great honor to talk with you. I hope you, you too, you feel okay and not stressed. No, it's just hot. It's just hot, okay. horribly hot at all. I thought it was the uh, question. Our question was so hot and uh, you are hotter. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you. And can, can I say something? Yeah. Yes. Thank you to the people who um, have like left comments in the last years, um, did nice um, videos on YouTube uh, with my music, have um, just, even if it was a note saying, hi, we really like what, what you were doing back then. Um, there are a couple of names 
for example, Hakim from the Eurodance story. He did a really nice, um, what was it, on, on the SoundCloud? Yeah. Yeah, like, yes. like the the Eurodance really, story. Yeah, if, if you think um, people will take hours, you know, in their free time to do that, um, you know, then... You know, you know, you you are considering that uh, your work is in vain, but people are uh, know your message and you are hiding, yes? <laughs> no, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> yes, now. Now, yeah. with the, after 10 years, the people can uh, see the real Samira. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, here uh, I am. Um, yes. Before I forget, there was, for example, um, what's his name, Juha in Finland? He, he wrote a book. I mean, it's in Finnish. I hope it will be translated one day. It's about <laughs> Eurodance. Um, there are other people who did remixes. You know, they really sat and, and took time and effort into that. So I'm really thankful for all you guys. And Tavi, especially you, you um, were very faithful the last years. And thank you for... Um, yeah, having been there and for, for for this year as well, as embarrassing as it might feel, it, it was it's nice talking to you. Uh, yes, because I must be embarrassed because talking with you, you are a name. I'm just Tavi from Eurodance Blog. Um, oh. Don't forget, yes, don't forget to vote for Samira on Hiding Queens in uh, our Facebook account. Please give us a like, share it for more likes. Yeah, um, if you have comments, please uh, share it and tell me with who, who do you want to do my next interview. If, uh, if... don't stop, I, I have I have something before yes. I forget it. Just wait, 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 wait. Okay, because because I found something somewhere deep in the dusty archives. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I have found this year. <laughs> wow. I have found. Whoop, Wait, this year. So, guys, girls, whoever might be interested, I am giving these two away. Just leave a comment here on the YouTube channel with, or, or what might be better? Uh, yeah. yeah, leave a comment here on the YouTube channel um, yeah. with your name. And we will, Tavia and myself, will pick up randomly someone who will be the lucky guy. so it's with the vinyl with the two vinyls uh, who are uh, i think will find the owner a uh, true fan from funny uh, from samira but also from eurodance blog exactly okay so leave your comments below and tell me what you think about this interview and um, what is uh, your uh, thoughts about the next interview so uh, samira feel and feel and feel and dank Schönen Abend. Thank Und, you. Uh, Bye. Better. Tschüss.